This is the Palm Pilot TX PDA. We're going to get this thing updated to use modern WPA2 networking over the Wi-Fi and give it a modern SD card. First we're going to use HotSync and then we're going to load the SD card driver, update our Wi-Fi. We'll set our date and time. And then we'll enable Bluetooth. Bluetooth is now on. It also comes with a nice note tool for making drawings of Luigi. And it also has a music player for listening to Tank 2000's jams. Like this. And this. And well, this PC speaker music really slaps. It also comes with a weird early 2000s music video on it that I don't even know who the artist featured in it is. Um, maybe someone in the comments might know what band this is. But enough of that. You really want to see this play games. And it can emulate NES and other things too. So here's Mega Man 2. And here's a reel of all the emulation stuff that this tool obliterates.
Besides NES emulation, it can also do TurboGrafx-16. And also, Sega Genesis. The best Genesis game, Truxton, aka Tatsujin, runs at full speed on this. Oh, and also, Sonic the Hedgehog runs at 100 to 120 FPS, which is pretty good. In fact, Sonic 3 and Knuckles runs at almost 1000 FPS sometimes, as you can see here. But can it handle Alien Soldier? Yes, it can even handle this. Thunder Force 4 also. But we'll save the best one for last. How, How are, are you gentlemen? gentlemen? All your base are belong to us. You are on the way to destruction. What you say. You have no chance to survive. Make your time. Ha 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 ha. But in other news, this kick-ass thing doesn't just do emulation, but it also does productivity. Um, you can do the internet over WPA2. Um, it's got a lot of games designed specifically for it. So many that I spent three hours just looking through the games list for this device. So let's take a look at some of the best games available on the Palm Pilot TX. If you have a Palm Pilot, some of these might hit home for you.
Oh shit, wait a second. Tank Ace 1944. This game is the shit. Look at those polygons. Another notable gem is Raging Thunder, which feels like a euphoric ridge racer or Need for Speed clone, and it's quite good. So should you get a Palm Pilot in the modern age, it is greatly foreshadowed by the iPhone and other handhelds. So it may or may not be for you. But if you want something to get you unglued from your phone and still make little calendars, notes, and play games or emulators on the go, complete with mind-blowing battery life, I left this thing on for about a week before recording any of this, and it's still made it through all that. Um, yeah, I don't think that my iPhone can compete with that. The Palm Pilot is still a force to be reckoned with solely for the battery life alone. <laughs> 